Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to activate a powerful hidden feature for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. This applies to One UI 7.0, 6.0, whatever you got. So first, let me show you which feature I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. So that feature I'm talking about is right over here. It is that little circular button. Now when I tap on this, it gives me a bunch of options that I'm able to program. So in my case, I have it set up so that I can bring down the notification panel if I want to, or if I tap it again right over here, I can bring the quick panel, okay? Or I can tap over here and I can tap on the screen off and that will turn off the screen. Or I can even access the power menu right from here, as you can see. Or if you want, you can access your digital assistant whichever that might be. In my case, it is Gemini. So you are able to activate this button and then customize it based on your needs. So let's dive in and get started right away. So what you wanna do to activate this button is you wanna go to your settings, all right? And then you scroll all the way down and you go to accessibility right over here. And then you go to interaction and dexterity. And on the top right here, it is known as the assistant menu. You can see, if I disable this, the menu is gonna turn off, it's just gonna disappear. Now when I go out, it's not there, but when I turn it on, it is going to reappear. You can see it right here, okay? So let's see how to customize it. Now when you first customize it, it is going to show up as a floating button. It's gonna show up like this, okay? And again, if that's what you like, you can have it like that, you can put this anywhere you want on the screen. Now what I did was, I tapped this option here that says show as edge icon. When I do that, it puts it to the side, but it can still move it around. So I can put it here, I can put it here, wherever it is convenient for your fingers, okay? So now, let's show you how to customize it. Very simple, you simply go right over here, it says select assistant menu items, you tap it, okay? Now you can see on the top, I have all my selected items. On the bottom, we have all the available options. So I can remove what I don't want simply by tapping on the minus, and I can add what I want by tapping on the plus. So I can tap on plus over here, I can tap on this guy, I can even have like the home recents buttons up here, Okay, and I do wanna show you, I even have a screenshots option. Uh, let me add more than six. I want you to see, I want you guys to see what happens when I add more than six. You actually get two pages. So look at this. If I go here now, I can swipe over to access additional settings, all right? So you can add as many as you want. You'll see six on a page and you can swipe between all the options, all righty? And of course, you can reorder them by importance. So if this was more important, you just grab it and put it here, okay? So that's gonna show up on the first page. You can see volume on the top. So that's that, all right? Now the other thing you can do is you can change the transparency. So you can see, I can make it almost invisible. So right now, it is nearly invisible, but I can tap it and access it, okay? Of course, that's pointless. I like to have it maximum. So you can see it, it is right there, tap, boom, fully visible, all righty? Some people like it in the middle, which is also perfectly fine. Other thing you can do here is you, you can tap this guy and you can make it small. So if you wanna take less space, you can make it smaller. So let's look at the extra small option. So right now, we have the extra small icons. I'm sorry, the icons will get smaller. So you can have more icons on one page. Again, it is gonna be all up to you. All right, guys, so that is the little hidden menu you can activate and customize. Personally, I just keep things there that are highly important, but I do like the fact that you can have, let me just show you one thing here. Here is just one setup that you can have. So look at this, if I tap it, that's the home button, that's the recents button right here, okay, which is the same as swiping up. We even have a back button, and I can even do a screenshot. So that allows me to take a screenshot. Let's uh, go back here, boom, takes a screenshot. Fantastic feature, guys. All right, now if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, 
Drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.